Hi, this is Belle from Geek Nest. After sharing our experience of redesigning a 22.5 watt smart power bank, friends come and tell us that many smartphones can be charged at 65 watt or even higher. Charging speed of 22.5 watt power bank is a bit slow for them. Besides, power banks should not be designed just for phones. Other mobile devices such as tablets and laptops need the power banks to provide charging power of around 30 to 100 watt. As a result, our team studied and observed many power banks for market and found that most of them cannot meet the requirement, even though they have some issues such as power overstatement and weak circuit protection. Thus we decided to take on the challenge again and redesign a more powerful power bank. Before starting this project, we bought a power bank on the market. This power bank have issues such as smaller battery protection circuit, resistors, and capacitors that are mainly for decoration, small output capacitor that causes unstable output voltage. Moreover, the max output power of this circuit board is 22 watt with relatively simple circuit. After our redesign, the new main PCB board uses the Injoinic IP5389 chip, which can support maximum 100 watt power output. With 8 18,650 batteries, the battery protection circuit supports 4 series batteries, for overcurrent, overcharge, overdischarge, and short circuit protection. Similar to the previous 22.5 watt power bank. We added an ESP32 with a TFT display for read status and control the IP5389 through I2C. Also, we added animations and other interactions on it to make it fun. Regarding the IP5389 chip, it is different from the SW6208 we used before. Here is the complete structure diagram of it. The left side is the protocol control and output module. The ADC part is responsible for reading the working voltage and current. LDO module on the right is used to provide a relatively stable working voltage for external devices and the chip itself. In practice, since the LDO's output current is limited and may not be able to meet the power requirements of other components, it is up to you to choose whether to use it. The internal MCU of IP5389 can support standard function of IP5389. Finally is the buck boost circuit module on the top. It is essential for all power banks as it can boost the output voltage of power bank to match the demand of external devices. So why can the entire circuit support 100W output? The answer goes to the IP5389 itself. IP5389, in order to achieve higher power output, choose to place the MOSFET outside of the chip. With the external MOSFET design, the power inductor and four MOSFET together form the core part of the boost circuit. During our design phase, we conducted multiple tests with over 10 different types of MOSFET on the market, and finally selected one with the lowest working temperature. While the power bank is working, it will use high current power inductor along with 4 MOSFET and the boost circuit to execute normal charge and fast discharge cycle, then increase output voltage to the required level for the devices being charged. BM3451 is a battery protection chip released by BYD, which provides protection and balancing functions for multiple lithium battery cells in series. Its functional concept rise from battery management system, BMS, which is frequently mentioned in the new energy vehicle industry. As eight battery cells are launched, performance degradation and other issues may occur to every battery after prolonged use leading to performance deviations among individual batteries and affecting the stability of output voltage of the whole battery pack. Battery balancing is used to separately charge and discharge these individual batteries to ensure relative stability of output voltage and current, protecting the power bank and the device being charged. Here is all components of the 100W power bank. After soldering and assembly, we got our final product. The total capacity of the power bank is around 110 watt hours and is capable to support a MacBook Pro for one time full charge. How do you like our power bank? Maybe you can try to design a unique one for yourself. See you next time.